But first, Atlanta News First, staying on top of breaking news, former First Lady Rosalind Carter has entered hospice care at home. This is The Six. I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Blair Miller. Good to have you here. This announcement comes nearly nine months to the day when the Carter Center made the same announcement regarding former President Jimmy Carter. Atlanta News First reporter Rachel Aragon is live tonight in Atlanta outside the Carter Center. Rachel, you've done a lot of reporting on this subject. Entering hospice care, it is not a death sentence. It certainly is not. The Carter's, in fact, being commended for really changing the conversation surrounding hospice care. In fact, visitors I spoke to earlier today here at the Carter Center, thanking both of them for being so open and transparent about their health journey. Take a look here. If we recall, again, several months ago, Rosalind Carter herself turning 96 years old back in August of this year. And more recently, she was seen in public with her husband, former President Jimmy Carter, riding through the Plains Peanut Festival, a sweet moment there, of course, before her husband's 99th birthday, well known as First Lady of Georgia and the United States, but also known for a long time for using her platform for better good. Rosalind has been an advocate for women's equality, human rights, and better care for seniors. She's also spent decades trying to break the stigma around mental health issues. Well, visitors of the Carter Center are telling me today, Rosalind and Jimmy Carter are prime examples of living life to the fullest. We're all put in certain positions, and they were lucky enough to be put in the positions they were put in, and they took full advantage of it. And you always have to take full advantage of what life has given you. So. They've done that to the to the full. Just one of many reasons why the both of them are so loved today. We also know the Carter Center saying in their message today that they the family continues to ask for privacy and remain so grateful for the outpouring of love and support they received over the last few hours in relation to the update with Rosalind. Pre live from the Carter Center, Rachel Aragon. Atlanta News First. Well Rachel, said. yeah, there's so our, much love and support for that family. Our thoughts and prayers with the family.